Hello everybody and welcome back to Imagination Productions. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get data packs in your Minecraft worlds. So I'm going to be showing you how to get it in single player worlds and also how to put them onto a realm. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is come into Minecraft, go into single player, and create a world that you want uh, to put your data packs in. It could be one you already have, like any of these, um, but for now I'm just going to use this one. And so now you're going to want to leave Minecraft open, but you're going to want to minimize that and open up a link that will be in my description that will bring you over to Vanilla Tweaks. Now this is where you'll actually be getting the data packs. So if you've got somewhere else you want to get data packs, go ahead, but right here this is one place where you can get really good data packs. So if you go to this website, all you want to do is just choose uh, any of the data packs that you want. So say you want custom wandering traders with like different heads and stuff, you want mob heads, you want uh, dragon drops, yeah just go and all throughout here, you're able to read what these are, get more, you know, choose more of what you want. So basically you just want to click all the ones that you want here and then you're going to want to come over here and press downloads. So there we go and here we go, it'll come under, uh, it'll come saying vanilla tweaks, you're just going to press OK and then you're gonna go over and click this button and show in folder. So basically it'll pop up wherever the hell it's gonna pop up. For me, it popped up here, don't know why. You're gonna want to just drag it onto your desktop for now. All right, so now that you've got the vanilla tweaks file right here on your desktop, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to right, not right click, double click on it, and it'll just pop up with all the, uh, what's it called? data packs. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag those out here. It may take a moment. There you go. And then you can just delete that vanilla folder. So now you've got all your data packs right here. There we go. So now the easiest way to do this, reopen Minecraft. And now that you have Minecraft open, you're going to want to go into single player, go to the world you made. For me, it's data pack video. Click on it go to edit and open world folder all right so now that you're in here you're going to want to go down to data packs and as you can see yours is going to be blank right now because this is where you're going to be installing your data packs so you're going to want to go here on your desktop where you have all these you're going to want to get them all and just drag them right in there so now you may be wondering hey why didn't you unzip these well that's because for these you don't need to so you can just leave it like that close the folder save it and go on it. Alright, so now that you're in your Minecraft world, one thing that you will probably have to do is slash reload. There we go. So you're just going to need to reload your game so that all the files that you put in will actually show up. So now that you got that, you're going to want to do slash data pack list. There we go. So as you can see, we've got all of our data packs right there. So now, if you want to turn off these data packs for whatever reason, you're going to want to do slash data pack disable, and you're going to want to choose whichever one it is. All right, so as proof that these actually work right now, I am going to do something very simple. I'm going to get a wandering, what's a wandering trader look like? Wandering trader, there we go. And there we go. So we got a wandering trader here. I'm going to want to summon him in. I'm going to want to click on him. And as you can see, here are a couple Hermitcraft characters, because this is a Hermitcraft one. You got Cub Fan. DocM77, and you have a couple micro blocks you can get. You got hay, you got spruce, you got birch. So that's just for him. Now let's look at another guy. There you go. As you can see, you can get Exumavoid and a bunch of other ones. So as you can see, you'll still have whichever one it, na it naturally came with, but there we go. All right. So now just to test one more, just to make sure that that one works, or just to prove that it does, is you want to get a parrot. Because with this one, Parrots have a 100% chance of dropping their heads, because they're kind of rare. So now that you got a red parrot head, you can just put it on. You can just put it on, walk around and be like, hey, how you doing, man? Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, how you doing? Yeah. All right. So, yeah, that's how you install a data pack. So, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, comment down below if you had any problems and uh, any questions and all that stuff. So yeah, make sure to do that and like and subscribe, please. We're coming up on 100 subscribers. I'm thinking of doing something big for my 100 subscriber special. I don't know what exactly. Have any, uh, if you have any ideas for that as well, just let me know in the comments. 
And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.